guten Abend. Good evening. Das ist Sarah Willis. Das ist Stefan Dorr. And I have been asked by Miguel Angel Perez to answer some questions for the tototrompa.blogspot.com and they're getting a bonus because Stefan is stuck on this train with me for two hours so he's going to answer some questions too. <laughs> Why did you choose the French horn? Um, actually, when I heard the French horn the first time in a concert, I thought it sounded better than the viola I played at that time. Does it still sound better than the viola? Um, actually, it still sounds better than my viola playing anyway. <laughs> so, so, why did you choose the French horn? The, the horn was chosen for me. I needed a second instrument at college, uh, at school, and the school teacher said, well, play clarinet or flute or harp. We have a horn, but horn is for boys. So I said, I want to play the horn. We don't know where we are. <laughs> Good boy. When did you realize that you had talent? Oh, I think my teacher told me or maybe my parents. And you? Um, my teacher told me that I had talent and I should practice more. So I did. How did you decide to devote your career to French horn playing? When I first played with the youth orchestra, I yes. actually loved playing with the orchestra, youth orchestra and I decided if that's a way to earn money as well as doing what you love, that's what I wanted to do. Same with you? Yes. How long do you consider has to be the daily practice to keep a good level? Depending on what you have to play. If you're playing the orchestra and you have to play in the orchestra every day or about every day in a lot of concerts, then you might not have to practice that much. But having a week off and then something difficult to play, I would recommend but three to four hours. Three to four hours. Yes. yes. Stefan is a three to four hours. He has to it's practice not too more than, than us, us low horn players, but playing low horn in the orchestra means we also have to keep up our high range uh, as well, so it really needs on a my, day my low range. Playing, low range. He has to practice his low range too. Um, so we do practice a few hours a day when we, when we don't have to work in the orchestra. Do you have a special warming up? What do you usually work to improve your technique? Okay, then we have to. Um, make a difference between warming up and daily exercises. Warming up is about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, starting in the medium range, not too much pressure, not too loud, just to you know wake up your lip and your body. And then daily exercises like lip twirls, stopped, flexibility, tonguing, power exercises, Stephan, uh, low register, Stephan, high register. Stephan will be showing you all um, these in another video. Um, maybe not every day, but a little bit of this every day. So uh, can take some time. I agree. What do you consider as the most important regarding the technique to play French horn? The breathing, a good position of the mouthpiece, the opening of the front teeth, the tonguing. <laughs> um, I consider the most important thing to be the air, because without the air you don't get any sound and the sound is the most important thing about the about the front French horn. Obviously you need a good mouthpiece position as well. Okay. But also using the air a lot saves you a lot of work with your Amateur. So the more air you use, the, the easier, easier it easier gets. And then, noch ein Drupschen. And then, nein, das macht sich nicht so fein saut. So. How do you prepare the concerts for the concerts? Oh, um, that's totally depends on what concert it is. That's if it's an orchestra true. concert or solo concert, it's so different. So if you prepare for a solo concert. Oh, I have to play the concert a lot of times, and if it's something what I haven't played a lot of times, I do some uh, piano rehearsals, and I try to memorize and and right before the concert not to run around and talk to everybody who is running around <laughs> and uh, just concentrate, focus, yes. uh, focus on the important things like phrasing and breathing technique and technical bits one time slow, and then go on the stage and. Go for it.
You so play with an Alexander French fine. horn. What are its advantages compared to other French horns? I'm glad you get this. Oh, question. wow. Ah, that's very difficult to say. Um, I like the the flexibility you can achieve in sort of um, different colors. Um, it's not the easiest instrument to play because, yeah, the medium and the low range is a little bit hard and you need some preparation. Also, the sound is not going, you know, on this, on the, where you stand, the sound is not really, it feels that it doesn't really, is it's not but too big, Alexander's but it projects. projects very well. So I think it well. projects well, yeah, projects yeah. very, very well. For me, it has the most valves. beautiful sound and it suits, suits the style of our playing. Um, it just, it's just always been a tradition in the Berlin Philharmonic to play on Alexander horns. Yeah. Well, not always, but uh, No, also it's good, to, of course, for us it's easy to play because the whole section plays the same instrument, what makes the section work quite easy. That's a huge easy. advantage. For, if a section plays all these same instruments, it makes life an awful lot easier. <laughs> Which yes. mouthpiece do you use and why did you choose it? I use a McWilliam one. Mm. Fergus McWilliam's own brand, but I put a Paxman 4B rim on it because um, Fergus's rim was a little bit too narrow for my thick lips. A lot, and but he has thick lips. I chose oh. it because it works, and that was many, many years ago, and I've never changed it since. I play a JK. JK stands for Josef Clear W2EM with a 4.2 bore. Oh, and I choose it because I had a Bach three before, and uh, that was sort of a little bit too small. Then I changed to a W one DM, and then that did get uh, uh, okay. It take, took me some time people, to. Do you think people can get a little bit crazy about mouthpieces? <laughs> <laughs> How do you stand the stress of so many performances all over the world, huh? like tonight? <laughs> <laughs> like we are just on our way back from a performance. How do you stand the stress? Well, we have to stand the stress because that's our job. Um, sometimes it's very stressful, sometimes it's less stressful. It's just something you, you, you learn to live with, no? And I can promise if you do many performances, it gets less stressful. So just play in front of people as often as you can. piece do you enjoy playing the most? Oh, hmm. Apart from Rossetti double horn concerto that we just performed. I like the Haydn double concerto, but it's also from Rossetti. <laughs> it was the same And um, I also enjoy very much playing Mozart all the time. Mozart is fantastic. We play. all do. We just love Mozart. That's, and that's good because there's not that much else. In the for. orchestra, I enjoy Bruckner yeah. somehow more than Mahler. I don't know why. I don't know, second horns in Bruckner, that's really hard work actually. It's hard work, but I like the music more. Okay. Sounds okay? Can you tell us any anecdote that has occurred to you while performing? I can tell you an anecdote that occurred to Stefan before, while performing, and that was today on stage. His cameraband fell off and hung down and fell onto the floor while we were playing. That's a nice anecdote. Is it an anecdote? Well, I, I don't know. So. And can you think of any? No, better not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Let me think about. Did I have any anecdotes? No. I'm not while playing, I'm except not. of maybe the one you know playing the off-stage end of Britain Serenade, and this fire fireman fire. came and said, "Oh no, you can't play here now. You can't play. There's a concert going on." I think that's happened to most okay. people who played that piece. Which are your short-term challenges? Teaching solo concerts, recordings. My short-term challenges are. Mm, oh, where are you going? I'm going back to Berlin. That's what we're doing. We're trying to get to Berlin. Where are you going next week? Next week, um, I'm going to Miami. That's a short-term challenge. Um, my 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 challenges are every day in the orchestra, and it's just to be the best horn player we can. And uh, also, the teaching is important. Getting the message out to all of you guys that that horn playing is fun and should be something you can enjoy as well as working hard at. Um, I think that will be that's quite a a short-term challenge for me. I'd really like to get the message out there. Yes. Perfect.
hair out of the mouth, please. Yes, you can. It's all good. Oh, train's coming. Okay, so hi to all the Spanish vlog members and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.